about thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy ma man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. So one thing, one thing we're not supposed to do is we ain't supposed to do no work. You know what I'm saying? Now we understand the fact that we are in the land of our captivity. So it may be situations where master say you got to go to work today. You know what I'm saying? So it's just something you may have to do. But if with all possible, with all uh, everything in you, if you got a chance to take that day off, then that's what we must do. You know what I'm saying? Here's another one. Nehemiah 10, 31. And if the people of the land bring any wine or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. That's another way. We're not supposed to buy nor sell nothing. Like... Like I say, like washing your car, you spending money. You ain't supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. You know what I'm saying? That's what we ain't supposed to do. How you doing, bro? How, how you doing, bro? You know me, man. How you doing, man? I'm all right. You all right? Yeah, yeah. So we out here, first we teach them, bro, about keeping the Sabbath day. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's, what, that's two things we're not supposed to do. We're not supposed to buy a sale. We're not supposed to cook hot food. We're not supposed to even eat hot food on the Sabbath. You can eat a salad, you can eat a sandwich, you can eat cereal, you can eat all other different type of things besides hot food because we're not supposed to cook. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to give your body a chance to rest. All week long, you're eating hot meals, steaks, meat, whatever the case it might be. You know what I'm saying? But on the Sabbath day, you're supposed to be giving your body a chance to rest. You know what I'm saying? Eat a salad, eat a sandwich, something cold. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? The Most High made perfect laws for us as a people to keep. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we got to start doing. We got to start keeping them. Get the fringe. I'm going to show you another law right quick. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you know your nationality? Huh? Do you know your nationality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? What is it? Uh, 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 I'm not an uh, African American. No, you're not. Africa was named after a white man named Leo Scipios Africanus. America was named after a white man named Amerigo Vespucci. You don't descend from two white men. So you can't be African American. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but watch, let me, let me get this and I'm going to show you right quick. Read that. Read that. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they may them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Bible says you're supposed to make fringes in the board of your garment. Look around at everybody's shirt out here. We got these on our shirts. These are called fringes. And these are not just on these shirts. I wear these on every shirt that I own. You know what I'm saying? We, because like I say, the Most High, He separated us. You know what I'm saying? So this is just, this is Israelite swag. This is what separates you from everybody else. When I, when I, when you walk around, and I look down and I see your fringes on your shirt, I know you in the truth. I know you know you're an Israelite. But without them, I don't. You just are American. You know what I'm saying? We don't. Fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout their generation. And it says throughout their generations would mean what? Forever. As long as you reprodu reproducing children, they supposed to have fringes on. Like my kids, my wife. My family, we got fringes on all our clothes. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? We. And if they put up on the fringe of the borders, a ribbon of blue. And look, you see the blue ribbon on everybody's shirt. Everybody got a blue ribbon on. And this is why. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And that's why. So you can remember I'm an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I'll say, the Bible teaches us that we ain't supposed to lust after our sisters. You know what I'm saying? So when you see our sisters, because they all be dressed out of order with their butt showing everything tight. You know what I'm saying? But when you, in the world, normally when you look at that sister, you be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And you looking, but now, when you, because you now you're in the truth and you know the Bible, as soon as you look, the first thing that's going to hit your hand is these fringes. I can't look at my sister like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't look at my sister like that. 
Oh, uh, but look, we got a school right here. Uh, in the where Riley's at, the great building right there, you'll see the no parking signs on the building. You know what I'm saying? That's our school. Doors open every Sabbath at two o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come, yep. Yeah, come, come learn, bro. Come learn. Now let me get you right quick. You said I'm gonna show you how you are an Israelite according to the Bible. It ain't gonna take but a second. Now you remember Moses, right? Yeah. You know he parted the Red Sea. He gave the children of Israel the commandments. Well, he also gave them blessings and curses. You know what I'm saying? And this also for you, bro, now that this is how you can prove according to the Bible. Because the Bible teaches us to prove all things. Anything come out your mouth, you got to be able to prove it. Just like when, like when these Christian pastors walk around here, they come, they duck us. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that we coming out the Bible. And we telling them, what, what you believe, prove it. Show me in the Bible that it say that. Show me in the Bible where it say everybody going to heaven. Show me in the Bible where it say God love everybody. If God love everybody, when Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, why did he kill all the firstborn babies in Egypt? Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You know what I'm saying? Nowhere. But what I can say back to you, bro. It says, um, Moses, I said Moses brought him out of the, uh, Israel, Egypt, and he bought, gave him blessings and curses. And this is what he told him, verse 15. But the Lord is 28, 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses so come up on me and I will take thee. So when he told him, there's going to be some curses happening to y'all Israelites if y'all don't listen and keep all these commandments that God gave you. Give me verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon me. And these curses are going to be upon y'all for a sign. What does a sign do? It shows you something, right? So that's what he's telling them. Like today, yeah, we don't. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. So he said these curses are going to be upon you and your children forever. Meaning today in these last days, we can look at these curses in the Bible and identify because he said it was going to be a sign. These curses are going to be a sign. So now you can read these curses and identify who the children of Israel are today. Watch this. Read 16. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. He said cursed are y'all going to be in the city. When you go to any city in America, any city on the planet Earth, and you go to the so-called hood, the ghetto, poverty-stricken red line areas, what race of people live there? Us, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed are you going to be in the field. Who picked cotton for 400 years for free? And we can't even get a free cotton t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? You see that? He said, cursed y'all gonna be in the city, cursed are y'all gonna be in the field. Read verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, your sons and daughters gonna be given to another people. When did that happen? Slavery. Look, they got, we got pictures of all, uh, let me see. Look, look at this right here. That's a slave auction block right there. I, um, uh, a man, his wife, and his child getting sold. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes they'll sell a child off away from the parents. You see that? And then even today, in today's time, look at the border right now. What they doing to the so-called Mexican children? You know what I'm saying? They put them in them cages down there. Separating them. Watch this. Well, uh, hold on. And then I shall look and fail with loving for them all the day long. And you ain't gonna be able to do nothing but cry. Really. And then shall be no might in thine head. And it ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Read 68. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again. So now he's saying the Lord going to bring you. And he just walked out of Egypt. But now he's saying the Lord going to bring y'all into Egypt again. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were slaves. So that's what Egypt means in that context. Watch. Read it right quick. You got it? Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 6, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, 
from the house of bondage. Bondage. Slavery. You know what I'm saying? So now go back. He said, the Lord going to bring you into Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt. He said, the Lord going to bring you into Egypt or slavery again. How? With shift. How did our ancestors get to America? Slave ships, right? Watch this. Read. By the way, well, let's speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see your home. It means your homeland. You ain't going to see your homeland no more again. Have we ever seen our homeland since they brought our ancestors in? No. Watch this. And there, and there, when y'all get off them slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Did that happen to our ancestors? As soon as they got off them ships, you're going to be sold to your enemies. Who was we sold to? But what did the Bible just call them? Your enemies. Do, do, they, do they teach you that in church? Do they teach you that in church? Read this. Watch, fin let me finish it out. And no man shall buy you. And it said, no man shall buy you or save you. The word buy means to save or redeem. You know what I'm saying? So now, let's bring it on out to context. If Moses said these things were going to happen to the children of Israel, who the only people these things happen to? So who are we? We the Israelites. That's right. We are the Israelites. And that's the thing with the Christian church, the so-called Jews, that's what everybody's scared of now because we can prove it. The Bible say we are. We don't say we are. The Bible says we are. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.